How we doing everybody? Alex over at Pete's RV Center in South Windsor, Connecticut. We'll stop on Yellow RVing. Just had a new arrival show up. This is a 2024 Jayco Eagle 355 MBQS. So mid bunk quad slide. Got this beautiful white exterior profile to match any truck out there. Kind of redesigned the graphics for the 2024. See on the front, you got the nice Eagle up there. That's also got a uh, backlight to it so that will glow at night. Rhino box, pin box. You got your front storage compartment where you're gonna have your batteries and then other storage. Around the side, two 30 pound propane bottles on here. Another huge storage space over here. This nice LED light strip they've added for 2024. And then this here is gonna be for your outside griddle, then your outside sink there. It's gonna to connect to your outside kitchen. You've got TV output if you didn't wanna set up an outside TV. This is your port system that that tray arm's gonna slide into. And then access to water over here. Then outside kitchen. So this is a nice galvanized steel down here. It's not wood. Then mini fridge. Two large power awnings on it. One over here. Then one that's on your slide out there. And you've got your mo ride steps on it. And these do stay up at a 45 degree angle with the gas strut assist. So it's good if you're bringing down your stairs, you don't have to worry about them falling, hitting you in the head. And then this new grab handle that Jake is using for 2024. So like I said, this is the Eagle 355 MBQS. They also warrant time, warranty for full-time use of this RV. It's also got the Jayco Climate Shield for some colder weather camping. Tested from zero to 100 degrees. Also new is gonna be this Dexter Tow Assist with anti-lock brakes, sway mitigation. This also has an odometer on it now. So you can check how many miles the trailer has pretty much traveled. This is gonna come in at just over 13,000 pounds dry weight, 13,058 dry, and then 42 feet, three inches. Saw G20 tinted windows on here as well. Good for privacy. There's a little Jayco bird right there. Roof ladder to get up top. So it's also gonna have two 200 watt solar panels up there. A little hitch receiver on the back. Be like a cargo carrying accessory thing. I'll take you around the other side, show you the water system on it. So this is a mid bunk, but it can also be doubled as a second office, second room, whatever you wanna make of it. Then over here, this is gonna be your water system. So it's the Nautilus P2.5. There's all your tank releases. You've got light over here, outlets as well. It's all this nice Astro foil up under here. That's gonna be your inverter. Also auto leveling on it. You can work it from right there or from the command screen on the inside or from your BM Pro app. You can get for your Android or iPhone. And then observation camera prep up there, as well as side view cameras and backup camera for your Furion system. So coming in, stop right at your mid bunk right here. So you've got your over top bunk there. And this is a tri-fold sofa, so that does come out, makes another sleeping space. You've got this beautiful kind of desk area almost. So if you're working from the road, definitely good to have this. Storage drawers. And overhead cabinetry. Nice accent lighting up top. And back for a television, if you did want to add one in here. Let's take a look at your living space. 
First, we'll stop off here. You've got your little thermistors around here. Those are temperature sensors. That's gonna be your switch for your ceiling fan. Then here's your BM Pro system, pretty much the brains to your camper. This will work your lights, your HVAC system, slides, leveling, all that good stuff, tank checks. Also TPMS system as well. Panning into the kitchen, got your island, pop-up charging station, two-piece sink, does come with covers, matte black finish on your sprayer faucet, and storage down below, spot for your trash, separate tap for your five gallon water jug, bunch of storage. Nice soft close on these drawers as well. Coming over this way, more storage in here. So you can either use this as shelving or this does flip up. There is a magnet, so you can use this like a little coat closet. More overhead storage. And this is a good little spot for coffee bar, Maybe a blender, crock pot, ton of drawers. And there is outlets up under here and USBs. So two outlets, two USBs over in this area. More storage up top. And you've got your residential style refrigerator here. So ton of storage in the refrigerator. We got the two crisper drawers. Then we'll look at the freezer space. So two drawers for freezer. Then a beautiful residential style GE profile oven with four burners on it. So you can actually cook something in there. Not like those tiny RV microwaves we're used to, or ovens, I should say, that we're used to. Nice countertops, then GE microwave to match. You've got more pantry storage here with an automatic light. These are all adjustable shelves as well. Over this way, you're going to have your JBL soundbar, your electric fireplace, then your Insignia Smart TV in here as well. Storage up top. Another tri-fold sofa back here. That's going to pull out and make another bed. Definitely sleep a bunch of people in here if you had to. Outlets and USBs on both sides there. Then more overhead cabinets. This is the redesigned farmhouse interior. So they definitely brightened it up, made it more stark white in the cabinetry, very modern feeling. And then you've got your theater seats. These do kick back. You just gotta pull this little parachute cord that will come out. You can recline it. Storage in the middle. And then your windows, these pull down roller shades. Another cool feature for 2024, as well as your table with the leaf that does lift up. You get two more folding chairs with this. This will also come out, swivel around, and push in. So you've got another kind of desk space there. So if there's two of you working from the road, you've definitely got two separate office spaces. Coming up this way, you've also got a loft in here for some extra sleeping. So decent amount of room up there. Definitely more so meant for the kids, but you can also uh, use it as storage. There is a vent for the AC that's going right there. It's a little ladder to get up. Coming to the bathroom, I love these butcher block countertop finishes that they're doing this year. Medicine cabinet here. There's your control for your Furion on-demand hot water heater. 
light controls. Matte black finish on the faucet again. And then this beautiful kind of marble looking shower surround. Very residential feeling. Huge shower with sliding glass doors to it. Linen closet here. Hooks for your towels. And then also a uh, porcelain foot flush toilet. There's also a heat duct right there. Keep you nice and warm. Toilet paper holder. Coming into the master bedroom here. Got your king size bed. That's gonna have outlets on both sides of the bed. They're also gonna be run off the inverter. Windows on both sides, so you can get a nice cross breeze going. Then a ton of storage under here. That's your box for your griddle, uh, 50 amp power cord, couple folding chairs for your uh, table set. A few other accessories down there. See it's all plywood bases for these Jacos. Plywood decking for the floor, plywood decking for the roof. Then your huge walk-in closet up front. First, we'll check out this dresser. Lots of storage. And then backer for your TV. Connections up there. And then that's part of your Whisper Quiet AC system. Two AC units on here. Going in the closet, we've got this big hanging bar that goes all the way across. You've got your washer dryer prep down there. A bunch of shelves there, good for the shoes. More storage over on that side. There's outlets on both sides in here as well for any reason you need to plug something in. But there is a motion sensing light up top for when you open the closet. Another pan of the bedroom. And that's about it. This has been the Eagle 355 Mid Bunk Quad Slide, brand new for 2024. Once again, this has been Alex with Stop on Yellow RV and Pete's RV Center. Feel free to like and subscribe and watch another video. Thank you.